In February, the Neisner Waterfront was abuzz as the annual Oak Hill School Waterfront Chucker Festival hosted players from a wide range of schools from across the country. These festivals are integral as Oak Hill School grows the game and tourism in the area. The Chucker is an incredible event. It's, it's a school event, it's education based, um, it's inclusive, involving a whole lot of uh, learners from, and, and their, their followers, their supporters, their teachers. It's become an institution in it, but they're engaging with our environment. It's one of the only open water, water polo festivals in South Africa. Active education is about development, and as one of the key goals of Let's Play, it's all about development. And when we came down here and we were doing the Let's Play Physical Education Challenge last year in 2016, we came across Oak Hill School. Now Oak Hill School, 12 years ago, decided that they wanted to start joining water polo. But they, a little school, so they didn't, they didn't know what to do, they didn't know how to do it. So they developed a unique concept, which you see behind me here where it's the only open water, water polo festival in Africa. It's in a harbour. They built the courts, they float them out and they put them in a harbour. And they invited schools from all the way around the country to come and participate in a festival with them because they wanted to learn and they wanted to develop their water polo. By inviting these schools of similar calibre, over the last 12 years they've been able to develop and develop teams and develop the sport locally to the point now that it's now become really competitive. It's still a festival, so there's no winners. It's still a festival and it's all about development and that's the bottom line. It's about letting kids see the wonders and the enjoyment of water polo in this unique setting. I mean, come on, what better place to learn to play and learn to participate in water polo? To me, coming in new to the school, this whole event has been an astonishing experience from a staff building point of view. Um, you know, everybody's involved. Um, this is an event that's put together by people from the ground staff, um, the catering staff, the children in the school, um, the, the teachers in the school, and everybody in between. Parents have come to the party, um, and you cannot possibly put something like this together if you, if you don't pull together. So um, I've been saying this week at school that we don't need to do team building. We can just organise more festivals like this. It's quite, been quite a amazing. Due to the fact that Oak Hill School has taken upon themselves to, to grow the developments in the area of the sport like this, it's shown the potential for the other sports in the area. Infrastructure's been built. There's an incredibly vibrant town here that's physical, that's, that's, that, that's active. It's amazing to see the amount of people that are active and physical and, and what they're doing. And as a result of that, Active Education will be focusing its development in the Western Cape here in Nasna and growing from here up the whole seaboard. Because there's such potential for growth, there's such potential for talent, and there's such potential for identifying and growing that talent. And we want to be a part of it with Let's Play. Well, it's a, it's a unique festival in that it's an open water festival and also a salt water festival. So it's a very unique, as I said, unique experience for them. And we're hoping that they um, learn a lot about the game, grow a passion for the game, and also that they develop friendships amongst uh, other schools and also through the different provinces in, throughout South Africa. Uh, the, the bigger picture is to try and get as many kids involved in water polo, and hence we do the festival and not the tournament. Uh, we run it at this venue, being unique, and hopefully it inspires uh, the future younger generation to get involved in the game and hopefully join us one year here. And also giving those children uh, a chance that often don't get to, to tour and that, you know, the top schools, they, they bring their younger age groups and giving them an opportunity to, to play in a, a festival like this. And, and this weekend we've seen a number of um, talented individuals and obviously we hope that those kids will continue to play and hopefully go on to represent South Africa one day.